Hello everyone, welcome to another session. Today we're going to talk about uh, how to use uh, pre-configured dashboard and plugins in Grafana. Uh, this will be very handy and useful because uh, by knowing this you can save a lot of your time and uh, energy and make uh, things quicker and optimized way. And yeah, let's get started. My name is Usman Ahmed and I work in Grifana Labs as a senior developer advocate and I have been working with the IT industry for more than 15 years now and I like to share my experience. Uh, if you want to ask question or get in touch with me, feel free to do so. Uh, you can find my uh, connection details in, com in description or also you can scan the QR code. I will be really happy to answer any of your questions regarding topic to Linux or monitoring, visualization or even if you want to just collab on something together. So today uh, we will first talk about uh, about the pre-configured dashboard. So uh, what it means pre-configured dashboard. So in Grafana, uh, if you have uh, been using, you have to always create a dashboard and then you modify it based on your need or based on your data and then you save it and then you have a dashboard on your machine. Or what you can do, like if your colleague also running the same machine, you can maybe copy paste the dashboard or import export it, and then the your colleague can also get the same data on the same dashboard. But imagine that um, you want to make your dashboard public so that whenever next time any someone joins and you might be not around there, then what is the best way to make it public so that all the people around the world in your organization or in your community can use this dashboard. Then there it comes the concept of pre-configured dashboard. Luckily, uh, Grafana provide a place where you can upload your dashboard and so that other users can also use it. And this is what we're going to take a look. Uh, these dashboards are mostly created by community members, which means uh, those who are uh, uh, using Grafana and uh, uh, wants to make a small contribution or commitment so that uh, their dashboard becomes public uh, and free for others to use or also by providers. Provider here means like there are some official uh, dashboard which are created for example by companies like Prometheus or ECTO or maybe uh, by MySQL or Percona and so on. So we will now take a look at this. <coughs> So this is the page for the dashboard. I will uh, say share the link uh, all and all the details how to get it in the description. So uh, you will find everything in the description uh, of this video below. Here you can see that uh, we have dashboard and we can already see like about more than 7000 dashboard are here right now. And they are dashboard for node exporter which is pro for Prometheus. This is also something for Prometheus and Isito. Then uh, below we have something more for uh, AWS and so on. <coughs> and the best way to filter is what you are looking for. So for example, you can maybe search for MySQL if you are looking for MySQL. So uh, you will get a, a, a dashboard for MySQL. So for example, if you are looking for MySQL overview, you can see that, okay, this is a dashboard which is for MySQL. And what does it use? This is very important that the data source it use is Prometheus. Uh, these are its dependencies. And uh, then you have two options. Either you can copy the clipboard ID or download the JSON. So what does it mean? By copying only the ID, uh, you can uh, uh, paste this ID inside Grafana and the dashboard will get imported. Or you can download the whole JSON file and uh, uh, and uh, uh, upload in Grafana and still uh, Grafana will take it. Now let's try to find something uh, based on the category. So I'm looking for the category Docker and now I can see all the dashboard which supports Docker. So there is one for Docker registry. So let's check it out. So this is the description that it requires Docker registry debug. It provides the requires the Docker's debug, uh, debug registry matrix and this is the link to it. And this is the uh, user uh, GitHub URL, the community user who uploaded it. And here uh, it provides the information like the data source should be Prometheus at least version 5.0, probably or higher. And these are the minimum dependencies. So, <coughs> uh, 
uh, you can use it if you have at least uh, uh, all these dependency available uh, let's try to uh, use the Loki one this is really interesting one so uh, this is the Loki uh, one provided officially and this is something provided officially by Grafana because here you see that uh, there is no information available who is uh, who provided uh, there is no user information but this is uh, uh, coming out of the box for by Grafana as it takes us to the uh, documentation how to importing dashboards so this is also very useful and uh, this is the screenshot of it so this looks very nice and now let's see how we can import it so let me open up my machine <coughs> So if I want to import this dashboard, although I do not have any Loki uh, uh, services running, but still uh, you can uh, uh, import it. So you click on dashboard and you click on new and click on import this button here. And then you have two options. Either you can upload the whole JSON file here or import via grifana.com. This means this is the website uh, grifana.com dashboard where we can uh, copy the clip uh, copy the ID via clipboard and paste it and this is the ID we got paste if I click load it says exactly same name Loki stack monitoring in the creating in the new uh, in the folder general Prometheus also no data source found because I as I said that currently I don't have any and uh, Loki data source is also not, not found but it still it shows that this dashboard is portable and can be used if if these two conditions are available and uh, so it will still uh, uh, import with some error because the error will come for the data sources which I do not have available but if I click import uh, okay so it does require uh, data sources so this is good to know but uh, this is the way to import it via ID and uh, you can do it same uh, you just need to configure Prometheus and Loki so this is all about the dashboard now uh, we will see uh, how we can uh, use the plugins as well so in Grafana dashboard is one thing to create and see visual visualization for monitoring and observability but we also need to use plugins and uh, this uh, this is very important to understand that uh, plugins comes in three different categories it could be plugin for an app it could be plugin for a panel or it could be a plugin for a data source and these three uh, uh, options are also wrapped in in the option of av availability for example these uh, the plugin could be available for free which is uh, free to use or it could be a commercial plugin which means like uh, you have to buy that commercial product or it could be enterprise that you, you have to use Grafana enterprise version or the paid version to get it in commercial you might be running Grafana open source but uh, uh, but your uh, data source which you have for example a good example will be Oracle that might be uh, you have purchased uh, for the commercial use because you have paid for the product so then you have to use that commercial plugin and now we will take a look how to use it <coughs> So this is the page for the Grafana plugins. I will share the links uh, in the description below of this video. And as you can see that we have different types of plugin, data sources, apps, and panels. But these are all still will be called as plugins. And we have then level, all, or enterprise. So uh, we have also some community ones. So community created are, are the free plugins. So for example, this Percona one is free. It does not cost anything you can see here that it's community and uh, these are the details and you can simply see the installation guide how to install it uh, nowadays uh, you don't need to use any CLI option it is all available in Grafana so for example if I go in here I cancel this out <coughs> uh, administration plugins and if I search for Percona I have to select the state to all 
I can see that this uh, plugin is available here. Although it seems a little bit de decrypted on the Percona side because uh, that is this plugin is not maintained by us. So one thing uh, very important to uh, uh, understand here that any uh, plugin which is uh, says it is uh, provided by the community it is not owned by Grafana so it could happen that the plugin might be a little bit outdated or might be buggy so to to report this you have to use the uh, creators github account like you click here and uh, now we see that this repository has been already archived three years ago but this is a good example that uh, nobody means like nobody is maintaining this plugin so we can take back and maybe we can use uh, some different plugin so apache it's each art plugin this is very popular <coughs> very fancy plugin and uh, this is also a community one but uh, if we search this in grafana so let's go one step back so we have each art so we have two this is again a good example that there might be a duplicate plugin so you should better know which one you want to install so always check first on the website like which one you want to see because here uh, it will be only more clear once you click it but this is the right plugin and you can see the plugin version from who how many downloads of this plugin have already it is signature yes and uh, version history it is very 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 maintained really nicely very up to date and you can simply click install if I click install this plugin will get installed and I will see this uh, in my installed <coughs> section yeah so now I have this plugin installed and I can use it so this is an example how to uh, search for plugins now there are plugins also uh, for enterprise so if I click here on enterprise these are the enterprise plugin this means that for example if I want to use Databricks plugin this is very again very popular this is only available in Grafana enterprise so you can't use this plugin in Grafana open source version you have to be a licensed user of Grafana enterprise similarly there is, is like Oracle one um, <coughs> so Oracle databases now uh, not this one this one is the wrong one I was looking for a different one I believe this one yeah so this one this Oracle cloud infrastructure log now this is sounds like a very important and good plugin for someone who is using the or Oracle cloud infrastructure and this is a commercial plugin this means that to use this plugin you have to um, uh, purchase the Oracle product which is a paid and then uh, probably you might have or might not have to pay for this plugin depends but this plugin can be used uh, on the open source of uh, version of Grafana as well and here it says like uh, uh, latest plugin is available on Grafana marketplace and it is compatible with Grafana 10 and so on so this is all about the plugins uh, again what we learned today is that uh, that uh, plugins are available in three areas so uh, <coughs> in three or in three categories apps panels and data source and there could be free commercial and enterprise the one which says uh, 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 free they are free to use uh, they could be like both core plugin or from the community similarly the commercial one uh, need to be paid and same goes for enterprise but any plugin which says like it is a community based plugin uh, it more it will be definitely free but it will be not maintained by Grafana if any plugin for example uh, here is an example of a plugin which is created by Grafana so if I want to see all the plugins which is created by Grafana Labs so we have all this plugin and <coughs> for example some of these are enabled by default in Grafana but uh, uh, let's take a more interest in MySQL okay so uh, here if uh, anything goes wrong there is a link to the documentation but if still if anything goes wrong 
what you can do is simply go to the GitHub of Grafana website and create an issue about this plugin that this plugin might be not working with the newest version of MySQL or with the newest version of Grafana or there are some other issues. So uh, we only support provide support for the official uh, plugin, not for the commercial plugin. For commercial plugin, you have to ask the author of that plugin and then uh, the author can help you that it, if it is a known issue or a new issue and so on. So yeah, I hope that you really enjoyed this video and learn a lot like about some differences. Uh, these are the basic but important differences to know like where to find the pre-configured dashboard, what, uh, what plugins are, what different kind of plugins, which one are supported by us, which are not and different flavors of uh, enterprise and commercial. And yeah, thank you very much uh, again. Uh, and uh, please ask your questions in the comment section. I will be happy to answer all of it. And if you have any uh, ideas or thoughts what should be in the next video, please also share it with me. So I will see you around in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.